Hello guys, the sun is out a little bit today, but not very much though. And uh, yeah, I just uh, sat on Facebook and also been in some videos and I just had a phone call from my mum to tell me some very sad news. Um, Dennis, my cousin, he's about four or five years younger than me. Uh, maybe a bit more, I can't remember really how old he is compared to me. Um, but he is a hunter and he has... Um, or his dog, uh, which named Tilda, um, about the same years, same age as Sally, maybe a bit older. Uh, he went hunting yesterday with some hunting mates, and you guys know how much I hate hunting. I don't think it's a sport at all. I think it's just mindless killing of animals who don't stand a chance. But um, um, one of the guys hit a pheasant, but didn't hit it properly, so it wasn't die dead. It was just flapping still and. The, it landed in the edge of a forest by some um, pines, something like that, and uh, pine trees, and uh, they all aimed towards the pheasant to kill it off so it wouldn't have to suffer. And the moment they actually shot the pheasant, Dennis's dog Tilda jumped out of the forest and I don't know how many hit it because several people shot at the same time, but uh, Tilda was shot on the back leg, so the whole the leg was just completely ruined and quite a bit of the back as well, um, the, the rear and um, he had to have her put down and uh, you guys know how much I love Sally, she's right over there and, and seeing, I was knowing that Dennis has lost his little girl it's really really hurting inside me and uh, when I heard it I actually filled up quite a bit because I couldn't imagine having to lose Sally, that would be such a hard... Wow, I'm actually tearing up a little bit now. Um, but losing her would be the worst thing ever for me now. I love her so much. And um, couldn't imagine a life without Sally. And knowing that my cousin has lost his little girl to something as stupid as hunting. Um, it's just a horrible thing and I'm really, really sad for him. I know when I looked at his Facebook that I saw pictures of him and and Tilda, the dog's name. Um, it was, she was everywhere. Um, when he was driving, she was on the seat next to him. When he was at home, she was always cuddled up on them and sofa and stuff. And she was just sadly taken away far too early because of what? People going out shooting animals for fun. That's horrible. So rest in peace, Tilda. And I, I never got to meet her, but I've seen many pictures of her, and I know that from Dennis that she had a very similar personality um, to what like Sally has. And losing someone like that is really really hard. And for people out there, who say, well, it's just a dog. It's not a dog. Um, well, it is a dog, but they are much more than a dog. They are the most loyal, loving thing you could ever ever imagine and they love you unconditionally and they will always be there for you and they'll be ready to jump through water and fire to help you if necessary um, they're really really wonderful so if you um, if you haven't had um, a dog in your life and haven't had the same love from them you probably won't know what I'm talking about but I hope you will someday because they are wonderful so sad she has to lose his beloved little dog because of hunting and I never I never liked hunting I never will my dad's a hunter but I always been against it and um, for me it's not a sport because I don't think killing is a sport so yeah all right I'll catch you guys a bit later I need to go to my friend with the fast internet because I have two quite big videos to upload and uh, back here would take like forever and I'll show you something. Yeah, so this was actually made to uh, Sebastian, but he wanted a slight, a slight different look. So um, the, if you look at Instagram, I'll try and find a picture for you. But I, I'm making a split ply now, which is going to be m made, and um, it'll be put for sale. Um, so you guys, if anyone wants to purchase it, uh, you'll have a chance to do so. But let me just find it first. Where's the picture? Where's the picture? Where's the picture? There it is. There's a picture of a split ply I made. It's rainbow and it's consisted of 75 pieces on the actual ply here, but it might not be as many when I get it sanded out because it's wider than it probably has to be. So, yeah. Alright, I'll catch you guys a bit later. 
driving, driving, driving on the road. <laughs> I'm just heading up to one of my friends who use the internet. I was going to Casper, my friend, but at the moment he was uh, apparently out doing a bit of shopping. So um, I'm going to one of my other friends and uploading that, but I'm popping down to Casper anyway because I got his, um, his phone, the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, and his backpack, which he forgot when we went to the uh, skate contest slash uh, event thingy. So the second last evening of the year and yeah, a lot of Christmas stuff and going on and people are preparing for tomorrow New Year's Eve and um, Paul and I are just going to be spending New Year's Eve on our own and having some nice food and a bottle of champagne or maybe two and yeah, I'm going to go and get a little bit of fireworks and a nice bottle of champagne and that's it really, we already got all the food but now I'm going to go to the sweet shop last time this year. People everywhere. I spoke with Matthias, my cousin, who was in the early. He said it was very, very busy, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is. We'll see. And people staring at me weird because I'm recording myself talking. Anyways. Magic display again. <laughs> I'm heading up to um, um, the storage of Filke, which is a shop I've just been into. Um, I bought some fireworks and they store that here, I think, because of safety. So they have to keep it out here you know, on the main storage. This is also if you buy big furniture and stuff, you have to come and pick it up here. And I see a slope and I'm gonna park there. So you see due to fire hazards, they have to store it out in those containers. And there's like hoses connected straight to it so they can just put the fire trucks there and get water in it. They can shut it down straight away. The guys inside one of the containers are picking up what I need. It's just a couple of rockets. So I'm not gonna get that much. I'm not a very big fan of fireworks. I love watching it, but I don't like lighting in the fire. Um, I've seen a friend of mine got blown about three or four fingers off once when I was a teenager. And ever since then, no thank you. But I'll rock it now and then I can do. Check out all the Christmas lights, guys. Isn't that awesome? Yay! Right, I'm heading home now. It's pretty! So, oh my goodness, guys, look, this is what I bought, the fireworks, that's all I bought. I don't need more than that. I am not a big firework fan, as I said. Ooh, the boiler's still on. Wow. Uh, yeah. Hold on, split plies. <laughs> but yeah, we got some fireworks here, I'm gonna leave that out here. So, we can have that tomorrow. Like that. And, uh, we actually have a rocket thingy. That in there in the back, here. This here, so you put uh, that in the ground and you put the sticks in here and that will work as a rocket shooter or launcher. Look at all these split plies I got there, it's crazy isn't it? Yeah, I need to go and make another one and put some more stuff in the moulds. Um, so I'll go and do that shortly but I just need to set my computer back up again. And then I'll be out here probably working a little bit. <laughs> Yay! I mentioned a while back that I wanted to do um, draw my life so one of my friends gave me these whiteboard markers but I haven't got a whiteboard but I have something else which I think will be equally as good I have a glass desk so um, yeah let's try and see if that will work if I can like right I can't draw to save my life but I'm gonna do a draw me anyway because or draw my life because someone wanted me to do it so draw a smiley and can you see that if I'm gonna have a camera up here that should be possible to view and now it's been on for a little few seconds I got a black shirt on it's my skate shirt so it works, so that's cool. Really, really, now you will see my my style of drawing. I am terrible at drawing. You ready? Woo! Happy New Year! And look, I can even do shades on it because this is table shading now. But fireworks, a little bit of fireworks, and let's try and do this here. Okay, so it's been on. It's, it's taken a little time. So let's try and see if that works like a whiteboard. So I should be able to wipe everything off now. <coughs> Wah, 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 wah. Yeah, so all the drawing is on here now. Can you see it? Well, you can actually see a little bit of color, but it doesn't matter. It's fine, it's just gonna be washed anyway. 
Um, so yeah, I will be able to do um, draw my life this way. Um, so I'll probably have to mount the camera either up there or on that one. I have one of these um, thingies I can hang over that thing. And that will be easy for me to sit down here and draw and don't lean over. Splitting away guys, and I'm making this for Sebastian. This is uh, the, uh, for the trade of... Um, the GoPro and he is sending first because I'm not sending anymore <laughs> um, not to say Sebastian has not he's a cool dude and um, I am just trying to uh, finish a deck for him he wanted to have a different split ply the other one I made I showed you earlier uh, he liked it but it wasn't exactly what he wanted he wanted something similar to all the design I did but with full full colors so this is the design I'm work working on for him now um, I'm not done yet as you can see I need to go all the way out to here and here uh, the length has to be the same as that so it's it's not that far yet but it's it's a big job and what I do is I, I take um if you guys want to see how I do it uh, let's say what color I'm gonna use now I'm gonna take some blue then I'll uh, find out which side that's the bottom because it, it's light on the top so I put it down where I want it and said okay I want that piece there leave it there oops and then I take um a pen and just make a little line and then I just cut two of those the way I cut it is to put it down like that and I keep an eye for a line like this and then I can just it's just well it's hard to do while I hold this but I don't know if you can see but I just hold and I just squeeze down so it pops through and then I make a copy of that um pull that a little bit away and there we go I have two of the same you can see two of the same there, and then I use my little forceps here to, um, oops, turn around. You need to have the right side up and down. Then I use the forcep. If I can grab it, there we go. And I figure out what I want it. I want it here, and put that all the way. And I use my fingers to pull it back into the corners and pull it down. And then when it's down there, I'll uh, I'll just maneuver it a bit in. Do the same again, take this little piece I got here, pop it in there, and I don't squeeze it down on the tape until I know that it's exactly where I want it. So you can put it on the top of the tape and you can still move it around a little bit like that, and then I give it a little squeeze, not too much. And that is how I make that. It's a big job and Holding a blade like this is a little bit hard. Um, what I'm going to be making soon is a little piece of wood and I'm going to cut a groove in it so I can just put the blade inside so I can just hold it one hand and not risk cutting myself. If you're going to do this and you um, are a minor, make sure to ask your parents to help you out with this because it's a sharp blade and you will cut yourself. They are, uh, or you can definitely. Uh, it's dangerous and keep an eye. Alright guys, um, but I'm going to continue with this and finish it off and uh, then go down pop that in the mold and then uh, that's going to be the last deck of 2013 so uh, it's kind of cool I wonder how many I made this year I made a lot because I made all those I brought to Fast Fingers <laughs> alright take care guys love you all stay awesome and epic you're the best zillions out there and um, don't forget to click that thumbs up button if you don't mind and I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is the last day of 2013. And you might watch this on the first day of 2014 because I'll upload a day later. So, Happy New Year and welcome to 2014 then.